The cosmic background radiation serves as a celestial time capsule, transmitting whispers from the ancient cosmos. This radiation not only chronicles the universe's historical saga, but also unfolds the cosmic symphony of evolution. If you imagine the universe as an endless ocean, when you move through it, sometimes you see small islands. Of course, these small islands are on a cosmic scale, if you assume that these islands are galaxies. And, if you look at a galaxy, you'll see that many different materials have come together to form the galaxy. These materials can take the form of various stars, different planets, or cosmic dust and gases. However, these materials and galaxies make up only a small part of the universe, and most of the cosmic materials are situated between galaxies, referred to as intergalactic space. To make it easier to understand, imagine the universe as an ocean filled with sharks. These sharks are the galaxies, and the water within the ocean represents the intergalactic space. So, the majority of the substance is in that water, known as intergalactic, or the space between galaxies. The substance we are talking about is composed of hydrogen and helium atoms. These are the same materials that enter galaxies and lead to the formation of new stars. However, this video is not about the universe in general. It focuses on the most powerful and brightest entities in the cosmos that act as galaxy killers. This monster is called Quizar. As you may know, everyone says that black holes are the most powerful objects in the universe. So, what is a quasar? I must say that a quasar is also a type of black hole. It exists at the centers of galaxies, acting like a cancerous gland. In the 1950s, astronomers were thrilled because they received abundant radio waves from space with high-pitched sounds. At that time, they named these waves quasi-stellar radio sources, later shortened to quasar. When astronomers received these sounds, they also observed that some of these waves come from the central point of a huge star. There are many of these quasars in the universe, with more than a million discovered so far. All these quasars are incredibly distant from us, spanning billions of light years away. When astronomers realized the immense distances involved, they were astonished. Despite their great distance, the radio waves from these quasars were detectable, and astronomers observed an intense and distant light. This light was so powerful that even if you were to combine the light of a trillion stars, it still wouldn't match the brightness of these quasars. If you consider the light of our sun and multiply it by a trillion, it still doesn't compare to the brightness of a quasar. However, it's important to note that the waves and lights we receive from these quasars have traveled billions of light years to reach us. What we are seeing now happened billions of years ago, and it's possible that quasars might not even exist in those locations anymore. Quasars pose a complex puzzle for astronomers because the reasons behind their existence and the source of their incredible power have remained elusive. However, astronomers have made a crucial discovery, unraveling the mystery of what fuels the intense light and power of quasars is supermassive black holes. You might wonder how quasars associated with light-killing black holes can emit such a tremendous amount of light. The light from quasars doesn't originate from within the black hole itself, but is generated by the material swirling around it. These materials consist mostly of various gases, 
with helium and hydrogen predominating. If you're unfamiliar with how the light of stars is generated, it typically results from nuclear fusion in their cores. However, black holes don't undergo fusion. Instead, they act as gravitational creators of light and power. To draw matter into themselves, black holes first spin it rapidly around at nearly the speed of light before engulfing it. This process makes supermassive black holes the powerhouse behind the radiant brilliance of Quisar. When this volume of matter spins around a black hole at nearly the speed of light, it not only generates light, but also produces temperatures exceeding 100,000 degrees Celsius. Consequently, we conclude that a quasar is an insatiable black hole, solely inclined towards swallowing. The appetite of these voracious entities is equivalent to devouring approximately 100 Earths per minute. The universe is so vast that quasars easily satiate their hunger. The most powerful quasars have an additional feature known as jets. These jets are like beams that shoot out from the center of the black hole, guiding and directing the light. This phenomenon is influenced by the copious materials surrounding the quasar and the gravitational forces at play. These jets gradually extend to such lengths that they reach hundreds of thousands of light years, surpassing the size of even the Milky Way galaxy. The voracious appetite of quasars gradually leads to the destruction of the galaxy where the quasar is positioned at its center. Throughout these stages, a substantial amount of light is generated until, ultimately, this light fades away. As mentioned before, the black hole rapidly spins materials around it at nearly the speed of light, and this high speed heats the materials swirling around it to extremely high temperatures, creating light. Up to this point, it's crucial to understand that stars generate light through nuclear fusion in their cores, while black holes create light through gravitational forces. The intense gravitational pull of a black hole coupled with the rapid rotation of matter around it, results in the generation of significant amounts of light, contributing to the brilliance of quasars. As for our own Milky Way galaxy, it is not known to have a quasar currently or in the past. If it did, we would have certainly observed the intense light emitted by a quasar. It's worth noting that galaxies are like sand grains along the shore in the eyes of astronomers, lacking stability and potentially changing their positions in space. Therefore, determining the history of a galaxy with our current technology is not feasible. It's interesting to learn that in about 4 billion years, the Andromeda galaxy will collide with the Milky Way, resulting in a complete merger of the two galaxies. When galaxies with such characteristics merge, their central black holes also merge, giving rise to a supermassive black hole. Scientists are not entirely certain, but this merging process may potentially lead to the creation of a quasar. If a quasar forms, it could be destructive for the merging galaxies, as quasar are known for being galaxy killers. Professor Clive Tadhunter from the Department of Astrophysics at the University of Sheffield stated, Quasars are one of the most powerful phenomena in the universe, and what we observe likely indicates the future of our Milky Way galaxy as it collides with the Andromeda galaxy in approximately 4 billion years. Observing these events and ultimately understanding the reasons behind them can be very exciting, but fortunately, we know that our Earth will not witness this terrifying event anytime soon. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We have plenty more thrilling videos like this waiting for you on our channel.